All right, let's do this. Ah, uh, what's up? I'm going to call you. Ah, you know what? Do you want Holden or Doginator or Dog? Um, you need to stay in on air or else nobody Holden. else can hear you. You can call me Holden. Okay. Can you count to five for me, please, Holden, so I can get a voice check so we can get your levels so you're equal to mine? One, two, three, four, five. Cool. That works for me. Uh, what's up, Corey? Um, so there's a, there's I'll a, just, I'll just get this on speaker. Hold on. No worries. No I'm, worries. I, we're, we're good. Okay. So what's up? Ah, uh, not much dude. Just doing me right. You know, doing the stream thing. Fucking it's, you know, kind of, kind of a quiet day, but I was having fun demolishing some social conservatism, bullshit talking points. That was, that was definitely a fun, uh, fun time for me. Um, define social conservatism to me. Uh, basically, we want things to remain the way it is or roll it back to the way it was. I believe in some kind of concept like that, but, you know, a little bit more extreme. How far back you want to go? Uh, I believe in white power. I mean, I understand that. You've, you've stated that unequivocally, but it doesn't really answer my question. How far back you want to go? Uh... I don't want to go back. I just want certain things to change. Um, so may, may I ask? Hi, my name's Kai, by the way. Real name. I live in Las Vegas. I've lived all over this country. I've lived in Tennessee for a time as well. Uh, spent a- all right. My name is Holden Bells. Okay. I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. All right. There. Now we got ourselves introduced. Cool, cool. All right. Um, so may I ask, hi, uh, I'm also, I'm coming up on 40 makes no difference. I'm basically there. Um, what age, age range are we working with here? You don't have to give your exact age. Uh, I'm 32. I say thirties, Mississippi. Go boy, right? Go boy. Ah, oh, I miss it, dude. I'm, I, I miss the South. I miss the South. I had a good, I had, had a good run there. It's a little weird, but I had a good, had a good time there. Um, well, we got tornadoes coming in right now. Oof. Well, if I hear the siren going off in the background and you disappear all of a sudden, I know what's up. Don't worry. Uh, fucking. It. See, what's going to happen is my drawl is going to come out the more I speak to you. I'm going to start sounding like a southerner because that's the shit that happens, right? Because um, I spent a, a bunch of years in Tennessee and my I do have a drawl sometimes. So if I start sounding southern, y'all... It's because I'm on the line with a, uh, with a good old boy. All right. So how did you actually arrive at this position? What, what led you to the position of being sort of of a um, specific bent of political stance, so, shall we say? We'll investigate further. But how would you get there? Well, for one, I used to be a conservative. Hell, I even used to vote Democrat when I was younger, but then I turned conservative. Why? But, but why? Yeah, why? Because Obama was doing a poor job. We had lo- our unemployment rate was going high up. It was awful. Obama was the worst president we've ever had. I know. I understand that you can un- you can argue that George W. Bush was ar- was horrible because of the recession and the Iraq War, which caused the recession. Okay. But at the same time. Obama has caused a lot of problems in our country. Have this would be where I am. I am not Democrat or Republican, by the way. Uh, that's that's fair. I, I presume someone is ascribing to literal fascism would probably not be and participating I, and in I party politics. Not, and I did not vote in the 2020 election, so don't ask me. Okay, interesting. Um, so <clears throat> would it be fair? It's all rigged. Would it be fair then to state? That, in fact, the problem probably isn't the president themselves, but the system itself? Yeah. Okay. All right. We can we can find some common ground here, right? We can find some common ground. Um, I don't know if you were here, but I am an anarchist, right? I'm essentially the antithesis to you, right? I'm, I'm the polar opposite of what you would essentially be. So we understand each other's positions. Um, so, so you want to bring the system down? Yes, but for entirely different reasons. <laughs> Let's hear them. 
uh, because essentially I believe in individual autonomy and I am uh, ethically uh, uh, I am ethically opposed to coercive and oppressive frameworks. Functionally speaking, they're also not uh, efficient mechanisms of operation. So there's a ethical framework that informs my decision making as well as a just a sheer pragmatic uh, system that informs my decision making as well. Fascism is authoritarianism is uh, not as efficient as distributed, individually driven topologies. All right, I get where you're, I get where you're coming from. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, so may I ask, what is driving the um the the what is driving the uh, the white power element of your your belief? Because I think this country was built on white people's success, including in Europe too. Let's think about it. We, all, why people have created all the great inventions in this world? They create structures. They created Rome. They created America. Are you all the are buildings? You, are you aware that the Italians were not considered white for a very long period of time in this country? Well, I well I consider them white. Interesting. How how yeah, well, how look, dark you, can you, how look, dark can you, you get look, before you don't, you don't classify them as white? Look. I just want to make something clear. You don't have to be completely Aryan to believe in white power. <laughs> Glazy. Um, aren't you Sicilian, Glazy? Um, so you don't have to be completely Aryan to believe in white power. This is, the, this, nope. is, this is one of the fascinating statements because have you ever actually seen somebody f- who, who is an Aryan? Uh, well, that's because it was a – that's because uh, – <clears throat> nope. You can't say I have. Okay. So they're not white. That's, that's, that's the first thing that you need to understand. Um, so let me give yeah, you, let, I know, I know where it comes from. Let, let it comes me get, from, uh, I'll put it on screen so we can see somebody who would be classified as an Aryan. Right? This, all right. This is what an Aryan looks like. Hold on. Let me see the screen. Let me check your screen. I can't say it. <laughs> so, it'll be up on the screen if you uh, you know if you ever get it. Um, it, it this is this is a fascinating uh, misconception uh, <laughs> about the the nature of this region and the people involved and a sort of general co opting of a term that has very little to do with the actual reality of the situation they're they're well, brown they're brown Aryans are brown think about it like this okay think about it like this okay hitler he he was in pure blood right are you aware of the 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 multitude of genetic filters that humanity has passed through in our our evolutionary wait hold on how old do you believe the world to be before I begin that line of query. Well, I'm not I'm not here to talk about philosophy. I'm not here to talk about how the world was created with you. I want to talk about, you know, political co- con- construct. But if the political construct is informed by a faith-based foundation that has no merit in reality, then that is a part of the conversation. So I need to know if you are a young earth, a young earther or whether you believe the world to be, you know, approximately four, 4.3 billion years of age. Well, I believe, I be, well, I'm a Christian. Okay. Okay. So I believe 6,000. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So young earther. Okay. That I, I, I just need that context before I even begin any line of inquiry down that road. Um, so, Let's talk about your political framework, right? Like, I, I'm not gonna like, I'm not even gonna begin to uh, start scratching that surface. But you, you, you ascribe yourself to fascism, correct? Yep. So, how do you understand? Fa- what do you understand fascism to be? Uh, it's a government, an authoritarian government ran, ran by higher ups like me like for example if i'm in america and i want to make america fascist that means all the minorities need to go okay. because it's okay. a minority based system you know that right ours you, uh, no it, fascism okay no okay i was like wait a second well it depends fascism it, is a minority based system 
and we're against the minority. Okay. So fundamentally, you find yourself to be qualified as a superior entity based on elements of sociological and physical construction that you genetically had very little, you didn't have anything to do with it, right? Like you are essentially taking credit for other white people's creations. And, and based on history. Yes. Okay. But, but how, how about you, the fact that in Africa, they didn't even invent the wheel until the Europeans came in. You know, that's, that's a fact. No, no, that's a fact. Uh, no, cite, yeah, cite your, Holden, they didn't, they, Holden, they cite your source. The wheel. Cite your source. L look it up. No, that's what not. That's wheel, not how that was works wheel in this in world. Africa. Here, I can. I can get you. I can get you an article and DM it to you. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Go for it. I can prove this right now. Can you hear me still? Uh-huh. Yeah, I can hear you. Just waiting on waiting on that evidence. All right. Check that article I just sent you. I just looked it up. It was they didn't know what the wheel was until the 19th century. Uh, he sent me a quarrel link, everyone. So so you're aware. He's unaware uh, he's unaware that there are depictions on the Saharan North African uh, petroglyphs that have uh, depictions of wheeled, uh, of wheels dating back 10,000 years. But he doesn't believe in a time frame of 10,000 years, so we should take note of that. Um, and the simple answer is because Africans knew how to make and utilize the wheel. Just look at the Ashanti, precursors to modern-day Ghanaians, who constructed wheel lockboxes called Faroa, or the ancient Saharan rock paintings in what would become the Wagadu Empire, pre-colonial kingdoms in, of West Africa. Did such a... Do you... Source your time periods. Do you... Do, okay, so pre-colonial kingdom of West Africa. That's before European arrival. That's what those words mean. Okay. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. The Ashanti. Let's see. That should be an interesting search. Um, apparently that's a person too. Okay. Yeah, and all the rich rich parts of Africa, they had wheels. But, you know, all the poor parts, you know. So, all right. So also just re further reading, Af Africans did know how to make the wheel. It just wasn't as widespread as it was on the Eurasian continent, mostly because of the size, lack of reliable beasts of burden in certain areas, and overall unreliability in areas with the tetse fly or heavy vegetation. So the link you have just provided me, in fact, states that the Africans did know how to make the wheel. Nah. Well, I you, this is your this is your evidence. Certain, you certain have provided place. me I this evidence. I said certain places. You have I provided me this evidence. Know until, so, it wasn't widespread until the 19th century. So anyway, um, I, 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 that's always my favorite thing when people provide me evidence that contradicts their own position. Um, so I, yeah, Cupcake, that's neither here nor there. Um, so no, Puka, they never read it. Um, okay, so you believe you are somehow superior to a group um, what, out of curiosity, out of curiosity, you're 32, that's, you know, um, over 32, that's, 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 that's plenty of time. What have you invented in your time? What have I invented in my time? Uh-huh. What, what, well, in, what see. inventions do you, do you have credited to your name? <laughs> I'm not an inventor, but I can name more white inventors and black inventors. Can you? Yeah. How many how many white inventors can you name? Uh let's see. Tom Thomas Edison. He created the light bulb. Isn't that true? So you're you've got one. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, and uh that <laughs> that one guy. What's his not the one that created the atomic bomb, the German guy. Albert Einstein, yeah. 
Albert Einstein didn't create the atomic bomb. Oppenheimer ran the project. Albert Einstein created some of the underlying physics. Yeah, because he's a Jew. Okay, so that was that was that was fun. Um, so let's start. Let's start the ri- list. Dr. Philip Amoguali. He is a uh, golden uh, Golden Bell Prize winner. He is uh, the equivalent of a Nobel Prize for developing the fastest supercomputer software in the world. He is a black man. Dr. Marion Croak. She is a uh, she is a fascinating uh, programmer. She uh, essentially the voice voice over Internet of Protocol technologies that we use to communicate right now. She is the uh, creator and developer of those uh, of those technologies. Uh, James E. West is again another black inventor who developed the uh, electroacoustic transducer electric microphone in the 1960s. Essentially, the microphone that you have in your phone is the microphone that uh, James E. West developed. Dr. Jane Cook Wright, she uh, is a doctor of history of medicine. Her refrigeration techniques and standards basically drive our modern medicine and vaccine industry and today. And Googled all this up. And what's the point? You, you couldn't name it off the top of your head. You, requ- <laughs> you require evidence that black people invent things. So I'm providing it. The fact of the matter is, is that you rely on old, tired dog whistles. You rely upon the history of a people that you have no association with. You rely upon the achievements of others that have achieved greatness and ascribe yourself to that greatness merely because you share a just fluke of birth. You just happen to be white. Therefore, you are somehow equivalent to the likes of Robert Oppenheimer and fucking Einstein. Because you share a lack of melanin in your skin. Genetically, yes. Are you intellectually equivalent to Albert Einstein because you are white? Well, it means I, I'm more intelligent than black people. So you're more intelligent than, say, a dual PhD doctor from Harvard who happens to be black? Maybe. How do you get there? Are you delusional? How do you get how do you get there? By passing SATs, passing the board, and then passing two different boards for dissertations, because that's how PhDs work. You don't get you don't get assistance with your PhD I, dissertation. I, I have to dis I have to disagree. How many with PhD that? dissertations have you done in your lifetime, son? I, I call that affirmative action. How many PhD dissertations have you done in your lifetime, son? Uh let's see. I did uh Two years of community college. Okay, and so I have you great, have, have a great career. So you have no understanding of higher academic function, having never and seen it or witnessed it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have a job more than most black people do. Uh huh. What's your job? You you don't need to know my job. Trade work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So again, I construction am- construction. So I am still querying you. What is this level of greatness that you have achieved that somehow surmounts even just an average black person? Why should you be in charge of anything? Well, let's see. Uh, how, let's, let's, name how many, uh, king, let's name how many kingdoms there were in Africa huh? compared to kingdoms in Europe. Successful kingdoms, in fact. The richest man in history was a black man from Africa. <laughs> uh, that is not true. No, it's Mansa What's Musa. It? Look it up. It, the richest man in history was a black man from Africa. That ain't true. Uh, should I know. We, should we should we look it up on screen so everybody else can see? I already know who the richest man in the world is. In all of history. Yeah. Who is it? John D. Rockefeller. You went for Rockefeller? Yeah, Rockefeller. He's not even richer than living dudes. 
Uh, in today's economics, he would be worth three hundred billion dollars. Uh huh. You want to look up what the likes of Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk are kicking around these days? Yeah, but three hundred billion dollars. Do you do you know do you know that one is lower than two? Like you know that two is a higher number than one, right? Oh, so you're saying this this darky has more money than Rockefeller? He collapsed the Roman economy just by visiting. Monsa Musa Monsa Musa traveled and handed probably, out entire bags of gold along board. his journey to the extent that he collapsed the Roman Empire's economy by devaluing gold so much, by just giving it away as he went along. He traveled with an assortment. He essentially traveled with an entire city's worth of people. This is a level of wealth that you can't even begin to comprehend. All right. If you're saying this is all true... Then why are black people in America today are not like him, huh? Because people like you exist. Good. That's a good thing. So all you've shown me thus far is that you have foundationally no evidence to the claim of your racial superiority. You've shown me that contextually you have no understanding of history. If you look history. at history, that's enough evidence right there, huh? You do realize did, you do realize you're African, right? Did did black people write up the Constitution? Did they sign the Declaration of Independence? They were busy making sure that Thomas Jefferson didn't have to work a day in his life so he could write it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You want to know something funny about the slave trade? It wasn't even caused by the white man. So you know, you know you know who the first you know who the first uh, slave slave owners were in America, right? Oh, please enlighten me. They were black because they would because other Africans would sell the weakest members of their tribe to white men in exchange for goodies. So the so Africans had tribal arrangements on North America prior to the white man arriving in our Africa in Africa they were selling them to the white man who were going to America glazy of course and I by can the see way, through his majority bullshit. Of these guys were Jews by the way but this is oh there's there's the Jew one uh, if anybody's keeping track check it check it um so please yeah the Jew, Jews are responsible for the slave trade um most assuredly so your fascism. Hey, zero. Congratulations yeah. on the bingo. Um, yeah, the Jews counter is four to five now. Yeah. Um, so your fascism, right? Functionally, it doesn't work. You know that, right? Yes, it did. Where is it? 92. Okay, when Hitler took power. Hitler wasn't a fascist. Sure. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He was a national socialist. It's it's mm -hmm. an alt-right ideology that is not at all fascism. It has shared characteristics, and by uh, er, uh, like uh, uh, Roberto Eco standards, it would be qualified as er-fascism. But by uh, a political scientist definition, it doesn't met multiple requirements because it doesn't have an element of the far-left ideology that you have to include, such as syndicalism. Do you understand what syndicalism is, by the way? Okay, then let's look at Italy then. Okay, let's a look real at Italy. Real True fascism. Fascist. Mussolini, right? Let's do that. All right. Did you know over 90% of of the un unemployment record, the employment record was over 90% when Mussolini took power? Why is employment a, vi a viable um, metric to judge society's success by? Uh, it shows that we're productive. It shows that they actually created something. Okay. How many? How many? Why didn't it survive? Germany created. Why didn't it survive? A, a lot. No, no, no. Let's stay on Italy. Why didn't? Why didn't Mussolini's fascism survive? Be because because he was overrun by the Jews in Italy. So the fascists were weaker than the Jews. 
let's see. Um, let's be honest here. World War II was a war between Jews and the white man. It's a fact. Uh, okay. Uh, feel free to assert that as a fact. You, again, haven't cited any sources. Well, let's let's take, for example, the Holocaust, which did not happen, by the way. Of course. And let's and they they like to make up tragedies and try to get America and other countries to join in. Like for example, so but but, but what you're telling me, got, hang on, but what you're telling got, me is that your almighty fascism was toppled by just some crafty Jews. Yeah, the Jews did. So it. how is fascism superior to say Judaism? Judaism seems like the option here. If I wanted to pick because, a winner in this because, race, because it seems Judaism is kicking the, the shit out of you. Well, like, for you're, example, you are a weak-willed little beta Jews dude faked, compared the to the Jews. Jews. Faked the Holocaust. The Jews faked the Holocaust. Was it a winning strategy? Uh, yeah. Then how come fascism couldn't counter it? Oh, so you, you agree the Holocaust was fake? No, I don't at all. But I, all I'm saying is that you Why seem not? like you're getting Why your not? shit pushed in by these Jewish, like, secret Jewish cabal over and over. And if I'm looking for an organizational structure that seems to be dominant and successful and able to last the test of time, fascism, you're not making a very good argument for. It seems that what I should be doing is going down to my local synagogue and signing up. Because nothing you do matters in the face of this overwhelming Judaism. So well, you're going to go to hell if you do. I don't already believe in the hell does not exist for me. So y yes, it does. It does. No, God it exists. Prove God it. exists. Prove it. Judge you. At the end. Prove it. Read the Bible. The Bible. I have read it. I'm an ordained minister. Wh which version did you read? I've read several of them. I like the new King James, but the international version's fun. But I've also um, p appealed apart the old Germanics and some of the uh, the Greek uh, Orthodox as well. How about the uh, original King James? That's not original by a long shot. The original is in Hebrew. It's actually in Aramaic. Yeah, I know. I got one translated in English. Yeah, but English is a translation. Therefore, you haven't read the true word of God. No, you're I'm reading. reading you're reading. Own, you're reading I'm further reading deception it in of my men. Own language. I'm yeah. reading it in my own language. Jesus didn't speak English, my man. Yeah, he didn't. But he was what? No, no, he wasn't. Yes, he, he was. was. He was a Jew from the Middle East, my man. Yeah, and then and then look what they did to him. Uh huh. He was a Jew from the Middle East. So you're you actually so you are fearful of the Jewish people, yet you ascribe your entire being in life to a Jewish master. Well, you see, he didn't be. Well, you see, he didn't become. He Jewish was a rabbi. After that. He was a rabbi. And, and he was, why, he was no, a rabbi. He wasn't. Yeah, no, no he, he really was. No, Hol he wasn't. Oh, that's that's adorable, homie. You haven't even read your own Bible. Jesus was a rabbi. Hey! He just disconnected. He just disconnected. Ah! Oh. Oh, that was fun.